Hey everyone, good morning. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Hat Yai in the southern Thailand province of Songkla. And today we are going on a day trip to an island that's within Lake Songkla. And Lake Songkla is actually the biggest lake freshwater lake in Thailand. Uh, so this is a historical island. It's a center of culture and, and also you can drive there because there's it's, it's connected by bridges. So we're gonna go on a day trip. We're gonna drive around the island. We're gonna stop at some places, probably eat some food and have some coffee and enjoy the scenic going. views of the island. So we're on our way and I'm gonna share this entire day trip with you. If you quickly look at the map, uh, you can see right now we're in Hat Yai, the city. And so if you go just a little bit north, it's Songkla Lake. And Ga Ya is right um, within Songkla Lake. It's an island, but it's connected by bridges, making it convenient to drive there. All right, let's go. We are on the island. Welcome to Got Ya. We're gonna just go straight and maybe stop at a little market area first. This island is also famous for textiles, for weaving, for certain patterns. I believe that these are the textiles that they actually make on this island that they're famous for. But then there's all sorts of batik shops. I think most of the things, most of the items come from Indonesia here. But lots of lots of clothes. It's, it's well known for coming here to buy clothes. And I just happen to need a sarong for the next destination that we're going. So I stopped here to buy a sarong first. Okay, here we go. And just down the road, I think is the, the breakfast place where I wanted to check out for khao yam, which is a rice salad. But it's really close. This is definitely the spot within the family home down here. They're famous for khao yam, which is the rice salad, famous in Southern Thailand, khao yam. Uh, but they also have noodles, they have all sorts of breakfast dishes, they have desserts, uh, they have sweet shrimp. They have kind of jean too, uh, rice noodles with curry. Yeah, She's getting ready to make our khao yam right now and just masterfully slicing those herbs. เดี๋ยวเอาแต้มเอาใครมาใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใครใคร
paired with the umami of that voodoo sauce, which is fermented anchovy. And then just the, the eruption of herbs in your mouth. Mm. The lemongrass, the, the beetle leaf. Oh, and the shrimp in there too. Oh man, it's so good. It's this unbelievable balance of salty, lightly sweet, umami, and herb. And then yeah, you can add your own chili to it. Add a little chili to it. Maybe a bit more. And again, stir it up. Oh, and I almost forgot there's actually noodles and rice in here. Rice and noodles. Oh, wow, yeah. With the dry chili. And you also got the, the rice noodles with curry, which he says is really good. And it is very popular as well. Lots of people order it too. Kalamjin mm -hmm. namya, right? It's a coconut milk based curry with uh, mashed fish in it. No. Oh wow. It has this sweet and sour taste to it. Whoa, it's different from other versions that we're used to in other parts of Southern Thailand, right? It has like a fruitiness to it. it tastes like fruit. And they always have a whole plate of fresh vegetables for you to garnish with as well. So this is the place, it's kind of a, there's no name, right? Yeah, there's there's no name, but this is the place. It is on Google Maps, that's how I found it. And they are so cool, so friendly. All that hit the spot. It's sweet, but the balance of flavor, sweet, sour, tart, spicy, and just herbaceous beyond belief. Next up on this tour of Got Ya. We are, I, I believe again, it's just down the road, but there is, uh, uh, Ya is known for its fruit. And just down the road, there is a garden, a farm, where an uncle grows lots of fruit. So hopefully he's open. Hopefully you can stop there and maybe taste some fruit. At least look at some fruit. Wow. And he's showing us the fruit tree here, right here at the front, which he's crossbred uh, jackfruit and jambada. So it's uh, some, or jackfruit champada, champadak in English, that's what it is. We just kind of showed up here and he's just walking us around, checking all the fruits, but unfortunately none of them are ripe yet. He said another month or two. Oh, he just picked one. Or how to know her, he picked one, but he said he knew already it doesn't have much fruit on it. It doesn't have a lot of seeds, it doesn't have a lot of fruit. But look at this thing, what, a, what an awesome, awesome fruit. He just ripped off the skin. <sighs> that aroma. This is my first time to eat a uh, um, a jackfruit chempadak. Mm. It's like a kebab. That is so juicy. Oh wow. One mark up. Oh man, that's incredible. Wow, that's sweet. That's juicy. That is delicious. Here's another one he just opened, but with only one piece. He said this one is uh, rotten. Oh yeah, just one, one piece of fruit just drooping down. Oh wow. Oh yeah, that's on the verge of fermentation right there. Wow, it's like a... It's like a honey banana just dripping with juices. 
ขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากค่ะประมาณ2วันใช่ไหมคะว่ามาดองคืน He just gave us one to bring home It's totally unexpected We just stopped by here He's so friendly นี่มาเช็ดปากเดี๋ยวแม่ทายาให้ Oh man there were a lot of mosquitoes back there Okay but that was such a cool stop He's so nice And I love his passion. We haven't gotten very far on this island tour, but we're continuing on from here now, hopefully to see some views, especially of Songkla Lake. Just a quick stop at the far end of the island. Uh, this is one of the capes, and you can just it's a beautiful view overlooking Lake Songkla. Beautiful, picturesque, and it's a very scenic island and it's so relaxed. The pace of life, the people are so friendly. Uh, and also all along here you'll find restaurants, seafood restaurants, small family restaurants, and little cafes. And unlike an ocean island, the water still remains quite calm here because we're, we're in a lake, yeah. And there's a little cafe that overlooks straight up right along the edge of the water that I wanted to check out. So it's kind of just right off the main road. You have to walk in. I hope it's open because it looks really cool. Bad news. I think this was the cafe. Is, was it this the cafe or I am, or am I off? It's supposed to be right along here, either here Oh man, it may be a it may be a cafe no more. But even without the coffee, it was cool to walk over here. Look how peaceful it is. Unfortunately, a fail on the coffee, but I did find a a sapodilla tree. More fruit, oh, lots and tons of fruit. It was sunny just a minute ago and all of a sudden it starts raining but we drove up to the top of the hill here on the far northern side of the island is the Southern Thai uh, Folklore Museum of Songkla and this is supposed to be one of the best museums in all of Southern Thailand especially for learning about the cultures, about the peoples, about the life of Southern Thailand. Mike is taking a nap in the car, I decided while he's taking a nap to just come quickly check out the museum. Just finished walking around the museum. It started off a little bit slow, but it got it got really good, and it really walks you through the heritage, the cultures, the peoples of Southern Thailand in every province. But I think my favorite part of the entire museum was the coconut shredders, and that just shows you the importance, the how essential coconut milk and coconuts are uh, within Southern Thailand culture. Oh, Paul! Whoa, Micah! It started raining again, it's just off and on rain, but it makes it nice and cool, I like it. And we stopped at a place that's called Chill Bar, which it might not actually be coffee, but I definitely saw some smoothies on their menu in the photos. And it's just cool because you walk out on the platform on a bridge out to the platform where the, where the shop is located. But there's so many, if you look on the map, this entire area is just dotted by restaurants, uh, homestays all over the, over the water. It's a beautiful setting. mainly a bar but they have smoothies they even have a full menu of food and then just all the chairs just overlooking the lake I got a mango smoothie Oh yeah, that's perfect. Just mango, ice, mm. and very ripe mango. 
You want to see mango? Passion fruit? Megan, did you get passion fruit? No. Passion fruit and mango? Mega. Oh. Oh, that's just excellent. wind is really picking up. It's getting cloudy again, gonna rain again. But at the same time, this weather is beautiful. It's actually almost cold. I, I, this is the first time in Sun Cla ever where I almost need a jacket. It's kind of cold. Well, okay, it's not that cold. Uh, but it's beautiful at the same time. We had really hot weather this morning, sunny. And now to enjoy the cool breeze whipping across the lake, it's beautiful. And what a chill spot, man. Good mango smoothie too. Oh, Micah, what did you get? Daddy, fries! Okay, okay thank you. They made it special for you. And Daddy, Micah, Daddy, can you get? Mommy ordered you french fries? They said it's the first time ever at this bar that they made it. Uh, they made it for Micah, a rambutan smoothie. Oh wow, that's awesome. Oh, that's just the fruit of rambutan and then blended it with ice. Oh, it's so good. Mm. I'm gonna go here. That's why it got so cloudy and windy. Major downpour. <laughs> we ended up getting stranded at the chill bar. It started downpouring and then it let up a little bit so we decided to make a run for it and then it started picking up again. Got soaked getting back to the car but that's okay. Uh, and now we have seen Got Yaw Island in both hot sunny conditions and in raining storming conditions. Both, very nice. Uh, but that's gonna complete our trip to Got Yaw Island. From here we're heading back to Hat Yai, so I'll have all the information, everything we did, but definitely if you have some time when you're in Hat Yai or within Songkla province, uh, it makes a great day trip to come around the island and stop at some places, or even stay here at one of the homestays. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe for more travel videos. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.